classmates. I apologize, I cannot be in person, but I'm still stuck in Fresno, California. So I thought this would be the best alternative to deliver my presentation to you. The company that I chose was Beam Centuri. Beam Centuri is an American manufacturer of spirits headquartered in Deerfield, Illinois. It is a division of Suntory Holdings in Osaka, Japan. On Monday, January 13, 2014, Suntory announced a deal to buy Beam Inc. for about $13.6 billion. The acquisition was completed on April 30, 2014 for a final cost of about $16 billion. Following the deal, it was announced that Beam Inc would be renamed as Beam Centauri, creating the third largest premium spirits company in the world. I'd like to now look back at the history of Jim Beam and tell you exactly how it became the company it is today. The history of Beam Inc. extends all the way back to 1795, when a farmer and grain mill operator named Jacob Beam produced the first barrel of whiskey that would become Jim Beam. From there, David Beam took on his father's responsibilities in 1820 at the age of 18, expanding distribution of the family's bourbon during the time of Industrial Revolution. David M. Beam, in 1854, moved the distillery to Nelson County to capitalize on the growing network of railroad lines connecting states. James Beauregard Beam managed the family business before and after Prohibition, rebuilding the distillery in 1933 in Claremont, Kentucky, near his Barnstown home. James B. Beam Distilling Company was founded in 1935 by Harry L. Hummel, Oliver Jacobson, H. Blum, and Jeremiah Beam. From this point forward, the bourbon would be called Jim Beam Bourbon after James Beauregard Beam, and some of the bottle labels bear the statement, none genuine without my signature, and the signature, James B. Beam. This slide shows the reconstructed distillery in 1933 with James B. Beam out there in the front in the front left. T. Jeremiah Beam, or Jeremiah Beam as he was known as, started working at the Clear Springs Distillery in 1913, later becoming the master distiller and overseeing operations at the new Claremont facility. Jeremiah Beam eventually gained full ownership and opened a second distillery near Boston, Kentucky in 1954. Jeremiah later teamed up with childhood friend Jimberlain Joseph Quinn to expand the enterprise. Booker No was the master distiller at the Jim Beam Distillery for more than 40 years. Working closely with master distiller Jerry Dalton, in 1987, Booker introduced his own namesake bourbon, Booker's, the company's first uncut, straight-from-the-barrel bourbon, and the first of the company's small-batch bourbon collection. His son, Fred No, became the seventh-generation Beam family distiller in 2007, and now regularly travels for promotional purposes. In 1987, Jim Beam purchased national brands, acquiring brands including Old Crow, Bourbon de Luxe, Old Taylor, Old Grandad, and Sunny Brook. Old Taylor was subsequently sold to the Sazerac Company. The Beam family has also played a major role in the history of the Heaven Hill Distillery. All of the master distillers of Heaven Hill since its founding have been members of the Beam family. The original master distiller at Heaven Hill was Joseph L. Beam, Beam's, Jim Beam's first cousin. For some period of time, 
Jim Beam was part of the holding company formerly known as Fortune Brands. Other parts of the company were spun off or sold, and the company was renamed as Beam Incorporated on October 4, 2011. Now, for, as for Suntory Beverage and Food Company, they don't have quite as long of a history as Jim Beam does, but they do have quite a story on how they became the company they are today. On February 1st, 1899, a gentleman by the name of Shingaro Tori opened the Tori Shotten Store in Osaka. His main focus was to initiate production and sales of grape wine. In 1907, Tory's store released and began selling a sweet-tasting red wine called Akadama Port Wine. It was a very big hit with the local area. This led to the creation of the Kotobioka Limited Company in 1921. Between 1923 through 1924, Shingaro constructed the Yamazaki Distillery, Japan's first malt whiskey distillery, begun in Yamazaki in the outskirts of Kyoto, marking the first step toward the production of Japanese whiskey. The first distillation began in December of 1924, resulting in Japan's first genuine whiskey, Suntory Shirofuda being introduced in 1929. Due to wartime shortage of World War II, Kotobiaka was briefly forced to halt its development of new products. But after the war, in 1946, it re released Tori's Whiskey, which became a great hit in post-war Japan. In 1963, Kotobuyaka changed its name to Suntory, taken from the name of the famous whiskey it produces. In the same year, Mushino Beer Factory began its production of the Suntory beer. Apart from the alcohol distributing, Suntory has also been a distributor for a wide variety of non-alcoholic beverages and food. Some of the more well-known products include haagen Super Premium Ice Cream, Orangina Schweppes Group, and in 1997, the company became Japan's sole bottler, distributor, and licensee of Pepsi products. So why would a highly popular Japan distributing company want to merge with a U.S. bourbon brand Steeped in the history of the American South, you ask? Well, Bean Inc., its holding company, was part of Fortune Brands until 2011. The global vodka, tequila, and whiskey powerhouse is the second biggest in sales in the United States. Like Centauri, Bean grew largely by acquisition. In 2005, it bought Mexico Saza Tequila Company, Lafrague Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Premium Kentucky Bourbon Maker's Mark, and other liquor labels. Suntory has a large stable of alcoholic brands, among them the Vivid Green Melon-Flavored Liqueur Midori. Acquiring Beam would make Suntory the third largest distiller globally after Diageo PLC of Britain and Pernod Ricard of France. The Centauri Beam merger, which was announced in January, would give Centauri about 11% of the U.S. market, up from just 1%. The $16 billion merger was complete on April 30th, 2014, creating the world's third largest high-end spirit maker, and giving it a foothold in the major U.S. liquor market. The combined company, with about 3,400 employees, will be called Beam Centauri Inc., with plans to merge Centauri Liquor's spirits business 
before the end of the year. Bean Suntory is led by Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Matt Shattuck, who has been Chief Executive of Bean since 2009. Again, classmates, I apologize, I cannot be there in person. I've added a slide with all my contact information. Please feel free to reach out and ask any questions that you have regarding this presentation. Thank you all for listening.